Hello, good evening, everybody. Hello, teacher, good evening. Hello, good evening. Very nice to have you here, guys. Hey, hey there. There we can see well some of you. Nice to have you here. <laughs> nice. Good. So, el viernes y el cuerpo está enfermo, dice Ángel. <laughs> Qué mala onda, ¿verdad? <laughs> Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the body is sick. <laughs> All right. Yeah, but don't worry. Tomorrow it's Saturday, so you'll be able to get some rest. Is Saturday, Sunday, and then, well, little by little, we're getting to the end of the month and to the end of this level. So don't worry. It'll be over soon enough. You'll see. Okay, so welcome to today's lesson. Today we're going to continue uh, speaking a little bit about the, well, this topic that has been, I guess, pretty much the main dish during this uh, course, which is the present continuous. So we're going to keep on exploring some of the different, uh, let's say, branches that the present continuous has in terms of different uses, uh, different ways in which we can uh, use certain expressions with it, et cetera, et cetera. So let's get down to business and let's just uh, take attendance for the first time today. So let's see, let's see. Here we go. So we have Friday. Let's see. Friday, Friday. Okay, so here we go. We start with Ana Beatriz Pineda. Present. Thank you very much, Anita. Uh, next we have Angel Palmore Aguilar. Present. Thank you very much, Angel. Good. Next, we have Brenda Raquel Reyes. Present. Thank you very much. Uh, Raquel, good. We continue with Glenda Maricela Cuellar. Glenda, I guess not here. Uh, next person, it is Beatriz Cornejo. It is, it is mm, not here yet, I guess. So we continue with Josue Vladimir Alvarenga. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Josue. A next person, we have Carla Maria Beatriz Arana. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Carla Maria. Nice. So then we have, let's see, Carla Yesenia Lanza. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Carlita. Good. Next person, we have Lucy Natalie Juarez. Here, teacher. Thank you very much, Natalie. And next, we have Marilyn Del Carmen Solis. Marilyn, are you there? Marilyn, Marilyn. Bueno, por ahí está conectada, pero eh, quizás tiene problemas de audio. So, no worries. So, we continue with Mauricio Emilio Alvarenga. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Emilio, good. Next person, Obed Alexander Alas. Here, teacher. Thank you very much, Obed. E next, I have, let me see, Orfa Lisette Barrera. Present, teacher. Nice, thank you very much, Orfa. Good. Next person, I have Rosa Vilma Landa Verde. Present, teacher. Thank you very much, Vilma. Good that you could you could uh, connect today. Very good. So I continue then with Sonia Evelyn Iraeta. Sonia, 
Sonia, Evelyn, not there. So I continue with Teresa Guadalupe Bonilla, who I think is not here. So I move on to, let's see, Jessica Melissa Oya. Present teacher. All right, thank you very much. Meli, good. And last but not least, I have Julissa Raquel Cruz. Julie, Julie. Hola, hola. A ponerle la falta yo a Julie. No, mentira. All right. Thank you very much, Julie. Excellent. Okay, then. So let's get down to business, as I said at the beginning. And yesterday we were talking a little bit about, <clears throat> sorry, the present continues and the simple present, <clears throat> sorry, in the different uses that we give these tenses, um, <clears throat> we were saying like, what were the main differences between the two of them? And if you remember, we were also checking some examples on when to use each of the tenses. So let's see if you remember when, do we use the simple present and when do we use the present continuous? What are the main differences between the two tenses? Someone who remembers? Uh -huh. Just one person, please. Let's see, Carla Maria. Person with habits, with um, routines. Uh -huh. Very good. Habits and routines. Excellent. What about the and present continuous? The present continuous is um, action uh, that is happening right now, in the moment, yes. at the moment. Ah, there you go. Pretty much, that's exactly how it is. So we have. Present, uh, the simple present, habits and routines, excellent. And the present continues with actions that are happening right, uh, well, right now, right or at the moment, very good. We said that there are some keywords that we use with the, pre uh, with the simple present and some keywords that we use with the present continues. What are those keywords? Uh, let me see. Mm. Mm -hmm. Natalie, what are some of the keywords for the simple present? Um, the varies in the B form, uh -huh. or we use um, the verb to be mm -hmm. uh -huh. for simple present. And what are those keywords that they tell us? This is the simple present, not the present continues. Uh huh. Mm, I don't remember. Don't remember. <laughs> okay, don't worry. Let's see. Uh, what about you, Milly? Do you remember some of those keywords? I think when you have adverb frequency. Uh -huh. Adverbs of frequency, very good. Or frequency adverbs, excellent. So. Though those words like always, never, is sometimes, uh, often, okay. uh -huh, those are keywords for the simple present. Nice. What about some keywords for the present continuous? Let's see. Um, Obed. Sorry, teacher. What are some of the keywords eh, over for the present continuous? Some expressions that go with the present continuous. Mm, moment. At the moment, uh huh. Moment. Um, now. Uh huh. Right now. <laughs> um, um, 
it's all. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it, right? There you go. I, I don't remember the, the other words. <laughs> there you go. There are no more, I guess. So we have right now, now, and at the moment. So those are just some key words or some key expressions that we use with the present continuous. Very good of it. Nice. Okay. So let's see. Let me put you to the test. Let's see if you actually remember how to use a present simple and present continuous, or if you are actually able to tell the difference between the two of them. So let's see. We are going to work one more time in two groups. So here we go. So group number one, it's going to be Angel, eh, Raquel, Emilio, Marilyn, Obed, Vilma, and Julissa. So you are group number one. Group number two, we have Anita, Josue, eh, Carlita Lanza, Carla Maria, Lucy, Orfa, and Meli. All right, so you are group number two. So, let me share my screen here. And as we have seen sometimes before, I'm going to show you like a board with some cards and you're going to flip them so that you can tell me, well, some sentences here, if they are with the simple present or the present continuous. So let's see. So let's start with group number one. So Angel, you choose a number. Number four. Number four for Angel. Let's see. What do you think, Angel? Uh, how do you think that we should complete this sentence? I football in the park now. You should join in. Any ideas? No entiendo, no entiendo, teacher. Ah, we are trying to uh, figure out here, uh, Angel, if we need simple present or present continuous with the verb that is here in these parentheses, let's say. So how would you use the verb? El objetivo es ocupar el verbo que está acá en los corchetes y en presente simple o presente continuo, dependiendo del contexto. So what do you think? Okay. Uh -huh. I be. I'm sorry. I I be play. No sé. Mm, I be play. I don't know. Right. Let's see. Hmm. You need some help from any other team member? Yo, teacher. A ver, a ver. All right. Marilyn, le va a ayudar a, 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 con esta. Angel, don't worry. Es que Angel no lo estuvo allá. Por eso se... Sí, ajá. Uh -huh. Ajá. So there, there you go. Can you help him, Marilyn? What do you think? Uh, present continue. So how would you say it? I am playing football in the park now. You should join in. Very good. There you go. So I am playing. Let's see. Well, let's check. There you go. I'm playing football in the park now. You should join in. Excellent. So here we have the present continuous, right? Why do I need to use the present continuous? 
¿Se acuerdan de las keywords que acabamos de, de, de estar, eh, de las que estábamos hablando hace poquito? Son, aquí tenemos una, ¿no? Now. So it's telling me that the action is taking place in this moment. So I need to use the present continuous. Very good, eh, Marilyn. Nice. All Thank right. You. Nice. Good, Angel. Okay. So very good. What about... Let me see, team number two. Let's start with Carlita Lanza. Hello. Hello there. Uh, number seven. Number seven, a lucky number, let's see. What about this one, Carlita? My black. Simple, continuo, or simpler. Um, uh, present simple. Aha, uh -huh. how would you say? I like every. I, I, I am clean my bike every every month. Hmm, I am clean my bike. My bike every month. Are you sure? I am clean. I clean. Ah, I clean. I clean. <laughs> nice. Let's see. I clean. I clean. Yes, very good. So excellent. I clean my bike every month. If it's the simple present, no, right? I don't use the verb to be. So just the verb in the base form, like in this case. And how do I know that it's the simple present? I have this expression here, every month, right? This gives me a, the idea that this is part of a routine or a habit that I complete every month on, uh, well, like uh, I do this, right? So it's a scheduled event for me. So it's the simple present. Excellent, Carlita, nice. So we have a group number one. So we continue with Raquel. Okay, number three. Number three, let's see number three. What do you think? He, uh, he are so funny. He are so funny. So simple present. Yes. You sure he are? Pienso que sí porque estamos hablando de una tercera persona, ¿verdad? Exactly. Oh, he is. Sí. Ah. He is or he are? He is. <laughs> he is. He is. Ok, let's he is see. so funny. Respuesta definitiva. So let's see. He is so funny. <laughs> sí. <laughs> yes, there you so go. Funny. Excellent. He is so funny. So we use, in this case, the simple present because we're talking about a characteristic of a person. So if it's a characteristic of a person, it's not going to change, right? It's something that is part of this person. So we use the simple present. And we use is with the, the third person singular, right? He, she, it. So we use is. Excellent. Very good. Yes. Let's see. Group number two, Carla Maria. Hey. Uh -huh. um, number five. Number five. Let's see. Number five. Number five. Me quedé sin Me quedé sin Number five. We can listen, Carla. Hello, hello. Number five. Number five. Okay. Number five. Yes. Oh, eh, oh my gosh. Other team. Lu no, pero el, el otro equipo, no, no Carla ah. María. 
El otro equipo, oh, oh, oh. Ah, pues sí, dice. So, yes, the other team loses. Se vale. Oh, my gosh, Carla María, no. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, so, I'm sorry, group number one. So, group number one, we continue with Emilio. Conmigo. Hola, hola. Hey, Emilio. <laughs> eh, number one. Number one for Emilio. Let's see. What about this one? Listen, the teacher and the same. Mm -hmm. Listen, the teacher. Igual, solamente no, no tiene cambio. Listen, the teacher. Listen the teacher y el verbo. Listen the teacher. Eh, diría entonces. Um, uh -huh. Listen. Uh, está, eh, está, eh, está listen the teacher. Listen the teacher y el verbo. Eh, sería, eh, is that listing the teacher? Is that listing the teacher? No le ve. Ok, no le vamos a cambiar de lugar. Vamos a cambiar la conjugación del verbo. So, el ah. ver siempre va a ir al final. ¿Cómo lo diría? ¿En presente simple o en present continuous? En present continuo. Ah, present continuous. Entonces, ¿cómo sería? En present continuous. The teacher. The, the, uh, the, the teacher. Uh, listen to talk. Uh, listen, to, listen talk. Ay, ¿por qué me está cambiando el list? ¿Por qué me lo está poniendo ahí? No va, no va a cambiar nada, Emilio. Así como está ahí el orden, así lo vamos a dejar. Listen. Oh, teacher. listen to teacher. Usted, o cambia el verbo a presente simple. Sorry. En este caso, a present continuous, como entonces, te digo. Entonces, entonces, solamente sería listen the teacher. Uh, is that? Is no, solamente así. Or is talking. Is, uh, talking. Is talking. Is talking. Eh, sí. Eh, por ahí es talking, es talking. 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 ¿Quién me dice? Porque, ¿Ah? porque es, es, es al final, es de continuar. Mm, no exactamente. For the exclamation. Ajá. For the exclamation, which one? ¿Cuál? Listen. Ah, listen. very good. Excellent. The expression there, listen, right? If I'm telling a person, like in this case, wait. If I'm telling a person, like in this case, hey, listen. The teacher is talking right now, right? Hey, you listen right now. So what I'm trying to say then is a, an idea with the present continuous, not the simple present. So very good. Siempre que tengamos expresiones así, no como de mira, escucha, pone atención, callate, right? Todas esas expresiones de que damos como una orden y, or something like that with an exclamation mark that means that maybe what we need is the present continuous watch, listen be quiet eh, shut up, right and then what follows usually goes with present continuous excellent so there you go let's see, let's continue with group number two eh, Natalie Hi. Hello. Ten. I'm sorry? Number 10. Number 10. Let's see number 10. 
Oh my gosh, no. So it's a swap here. So we change points, team number two, with team number one. So Jesus Christ, poor team one. Okay, <laughs> I'm sorry. So let's see, group number one. E, let me see. Can you hear me? Hello? Hello, hello, hello. Yes, yo sí le escucho. Yes, sí, sí. Ah, oh, okay. Yes. Sorry. I hear you. Yo veo que se me quedó congelada la pantalla, so I was not sure. Por si acaso. Sí, por ratito se le queda así, teacher. Yeah, no sé por qué. Creo que estas lluviecitas me afectan el internet, so. Y um, no comprendí <laughs> publicidad. Anyway. So here we go. Ahorita me cambio de red. Déjenme ver. Solo por si acaso. Ahí está. Okay. So here we go. Anyway. So let's continue with Marilyn. Hi, teacher. Hey, Marilyn. Let's see. Mm, six. Number six. Let's see number six. Híjole, what do you think, Marilyn? I am... <laughs> uh -huh. uh, Jenny usually walks to work. Ah, uh -huh, very good. But, but today... today she is Psycho. Psycho. No, ¿qué es eso? Cycling. Cycling. Ah, she's cycling. Are you sure? Puedo repetir, puedo. Va, a ver, a ver, a ver. Let's see. Jenny usually walks to work, but uh -huh. today she is cycling. All right. Let's see. That sounds very uh, sensible. So let's see. Wonderful, very good. So nice, Marilyn. In the first one, we're using the simple present. We actually have uh, another frequency there, usually. So we know that is simple present. So Jenny usually walks to work. Cambiamos el walks, porque estamos hablando de Jenny. Y, but then we have, but today she's cycling. Cycling montar en bicicleta, ¿no? Ahora oh, okay. ella está eh, montando eh, bicicleta. Bicicleta. Exactly. So, why am I using the present continuous in the second one? Because I'm talking about something that is temporary. So, it's not something that she does on a daily basis. She usually walks, but today is an exception. So, since it's an exception, eh, I'm using the present continuous to describe what she is doing today. So, excellent. Very good, Marilyn, nice. Okay, so let's see. We continue with group number two, Olfa. Hi, um, number two. Number two, let's see, number two. What about this one, Olfa, my puppy? My popping always um, jumping on the um, on my bed. Mm, my puppy always jumping on my bed. Mm, are you sure? I was. Uh huh. <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry. There you have some keywords. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Always. Um, 
Mau. <laughs> My popping, Joel Wise. Uh -huh. Is no. Is jumping on my bed. All right, my puppy always is jumping on my bed. Respuesta definitiva. Sí, sí, sí. sí creo. Yes, okay. <laughs> so let's see if it is then with the person continues. Ah, yeah, yeah. It was the simple present. Okay. En este caso, Orpa, tenemos la palabra clave always, ¿no? Siempre. Okay. Entonces, si yo tengo un frequency adverb como always, y lo que yo necesito entonces es presente simple. So, the okay. simple present. In this case, y pretty much, I need to change the verb. Le tengo que agregar la S al verbo porque tengo my puppy, que es un it. Y so, por eso sí le agregamos la S, ¿no? My puppy always jumps on my bed. Pero si es presente simple. So, no points in this okay. one. Oh, my. Oh, don't worry, don't worry. So, let's see. Group number one, we go back to you, Ovid. Thirteen. Thirteen, and de la suerte, dice Ovid. Let's see. What do you think, Ovid? Do you... Do you eat rice every day? Simple present then. Uh, yes. All right. So Obed says, do you eat rice every day? Let's see. Very good. Nice. So there we have the expression every day. And besides that, we have an auxiliary do. If I have an auxiliary do or does, then I know I'm not using the present continuous, right? So there is not possibility that I could use present continuous with auxiliaries do or does. Perfect. So, nice. <clears throat> Very good. What about, let me see, group number two, uh, Meli. Good evening. I choose oh. number eight. Number eight for Meli. Let's see. Oh my gosh, so you take 25 <laughs> points. <laughs> Le roba 25 puntos al otro equipo. No. <laughs> okay, there you go. Jesus Christ. Le ha caído al, al Team One ahora. Hoy sí nos han robado todo. <laughs> Hoy sí le han robado. Devuélvalo robado. No. <laughs> All right, let's see. Group number one, we go back to Vilma. Are you there? Ah, no, no, no. A group number. Espérenme, espérenme. ¿Con quién estaba entonces? Ah, sí, sí, sí. Con Vilma. I'm sorry. Yeah, Vilma. Are you there? Mm, creo que Vilma no tiene problemas ahorita para conectarse. So, sigo entonces con Yuli. Number nine. Number nine. Let's see number nine for Julie. And we have this one. What do you think, Julie? Present simple. Present simple. Aha. Uh -huh. How would you do it then? We feel really Tired. We feel really tired. Confirmo. Yes, we feel very tired. Nos sentimos muy cansados. Let's see. Yes, very good. So, in this case, simple present. 
how do I know that this is the simple present? Aquí no tengo keywords. How do I know this? Come. Feelings. Feelings, very good. And we are expressing feelings or a state, right? The verb feel in this case is a verb that we usually would use with the simple present, not with the present continuous because I'm expressing my current status, right? I feel or we feel really tired. So very good, nice. Okay, so we continue then with group number two. Carlita Lanza, second round. And number 11. Number 11, let's see. Hmm, what about this one? I'll do it later. I don't I, I make a sandwich and the, at the moment. I make. Yes. Are you sure? I Simple present. Learned. I. Present continue. Ah, so how would it be then? I am um, make a sandwich at the moment. Mm. Making, I make him. Ah, mm, nice. puede, so, making a sandwich at the moment. Let's see, a ver si se puede, let's check. So, yes, there you mm -hmm. go, so nice. I'm making a sandwich at the moment. So I'm using present continuous, so I need the verb to be plus verb in ing. So very good, nice, Carlita. So let's see, group number one. I go back to Angel. Okay, okay. I see Angel, I see Ale Ayodis. <laughs> A ver, let's see. But 15. 15, let's see. All right, what do you think, Angel? It's 8 a.m. And they going to a school now. And they going to school now? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Yes. Okay. It's 8 a.m. R. Ah. And R. R, le faltará el R. What do you think, Angel? Es el presente continuo. Ajá. Le ponemos el R. Ajá. Are going. They are going. Ajá. ¿Será? ¿Acepta la propuesta, Angel? Yes. <laughs> yes, he says, let's see. And... Yes, very good. So, as Julie said, this, well, the present continuous angel always goes a verb to be and the verb in ing. So, we have a, it's 8 a.m. and they are going to school now. So, there you go. That's the complete thing. So, excellent. Okay, very good. So, then we have. Y Carla Maria, you choose a number. Okay, number 12. Number 12 for Carla Maria. Yes. All right, let's see. She is so smart. She is so smart. So simple present. Yes. You sure? Yes. Let's see. <laughs> so, 
Yes, definitely. So it's a quality of this person. It's a trait. So she is so smart. So simple present with that. Perfect. All right, let's see. Then we continue with group number one. Raquel, second round. Um, 14. 14 for Raquel. Let's see. What about this one, Raquel? Uh, so yeah, I am like chocolate. I am like chocolate. Oh, solo. I like chocolate. Mm, I like chocolate. What do you yes. think? Y me gusta el chocolate y sería, I am sería como que yo estoy en el chocolate. También, podría sí, ser. Sí, I like chocolate. O yo soy o yo I estoy like. en el chocolate. So. I like chocolate. I like chocolate. Let's see. I like chocolate. <laughs> Yes, very good. So there you go, Raquel. I like chocolate. In this case, as well, as you mentioned, Raquel, I don't need the verb to be because I'm not using the present continuous. I only use the verb to be plus a verb, in this case, in ing, with the present continuous. If it's not that tense, nothing, just the verb like in this one. And here, I don't have a keyword like now or sometimes or always, but I'm talking about uh, my tastes, my likes or dislikes. So if I use, or if I want to talk about that, I use the simple present. I like chocolate. Excellent. So we have the last one for Natalie. 16. <laughs> yeah, no other choice. <laughs> so here we go. Oh my God, no, Jesus. Oh my gosh. So, Natalie, no points. Yo no salió en contra del grupo. <laughs> so, no points. Oh my God. So, final score. Winners. Group number two. There you go. But still, you were the winner. So congratulations. One more time. Remember that if simple present and present continuous, they are different. Lo único que tienen en común es que llevan el present en el nombre, pero no son iguales. No se ocupan para lo mismo. Simple present. One more time. Mm, wait. I'm going to stop sharing. And probably I will just type it here just in case that we need this later so we have simple present so i use the simple present with habits slash routines with the simple present i use do and does and uh, with the simple present I never have, never a verb to be plus an action verb. So this you need to remember, never the verb to be plus an action verb, uh, never ever in the simple present. And uh, we use frequency adverbs, right? Frequency adverbs, always, never, often, sometimes, rarely, seldom. All those words, they indicate the use of the simple present. What about the present continues? The present continues, used to talk, about actions, 
happening at the moment. So this is the main use for the present continuous to talk about actions happening at the moment. E, with the present continuous, the structure verb to be plus verb in ing. So I always, no exception, need to use the present continuous like this. Verb to be plus verb in ing. No puedo solo utilizar el verbo en ing o solo utilizar el verb to be en este caso o el verb to be más el verbo sin conjugar en ing. Ah, ah, tampoco, ¿verdad? Tiene que ser siempre así. Esta es como la fórmula del present continuous. Y what else? Never use auxiliaries like do and does. So I never use do and does with the present continuous, not at all. And we use expressions. We use expressions like now, right now, or at the moment. So there you go. This is pretty much the difference between the simple present and the present continuous in a nutshell. These are the things, these are the do's and don't and don'ts about these tenses. Acá pueden ver lo que va con cada uno de los tiempos, lo que puedo hacer y lo que no puedo hacer con estos dos diferentes tiempos. So there you go. Questions so far? Preguntas hasta aquí. No? Easy? Clear as crystal? Nice. So I guess I want to believe it's clear as crystal now. Okay. So, if you have no questions about this, I guess that we can move on and we can go just with the next uh, step in the ladder uh, in the present continuous. Speaking, well, I guess we have mentioned this just a little bit. We haven't spoken too much about this that we're going to see today. So here we go. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about certain structures with the present continuous. That is a WH questions with the present continuous. I'm going to share my screen so that we can all see this. And we have some information or a little, a short video about a WH questions with present continuous. So, Let's first, let's first watch it and then we talk a little bit about these structures and how we use these type of questions with a distance. So listen, here we go. We are going to talk about WH questions with the present continuous. To create WH questions with the present continuous, we need a WH word plus the verb to be plus a subject plus a verb with ing plus a complement and because it is a question we need the question mark for example what are you doing now what are you doing now so this question is a question about the activity that you are doing in this moment so what are you doing now what are you doing now here we have some examples some questions and answers number one what's Permsak doing? What's Permsak doing? He's eating dinner right now. He's eating dinner right now. What's Hiroshi doing? What's Hiroshi doing? He's checking his email. He's checking his email. What are you doing? What are you doing? It's I'm 
this is about you this is with information about you for example it's for a club so I'm taking classes it's for a club so I'm taking classes this is one example here we can see other questions in this case we have what is Victoria doing right now what is Victoria doing now so what's Victoria doing she's sleeping right now she's sleeping right now what's Marcus doing it's 6 o'clock a.m. so he's getting up it's 6 o'clock a.m. so he's getting up what are Sue and Tom doing what are Sue and Tom doing they're having breakfast they're having breakfast here we can see another question what are Jim and Ann doing now what are Jim and Ann doing now here this is a question about two people what are Jim and Ann doing now what's Celia doing she's going to work what's Celia doing she's going to work what are Jim and Ann doing it's noon so they're eating lunch what are Jean and Ann doing? It's noon, so they're eating lunch. What's Andre doing? Hates working. Hates working. What's Andre doing? Hates working. Hates working. When we talk about present continuous WH questions, it's important to know the difference between who what where and why who is used for people when you ask about people what is used for activities or things where is used for locations or places and why is used for reasons here we have different people doing different things and a questions so let's see the questions who's sleeping now Who's sleeping now? Who? The person. Who's sleeping now? Victoria is sleeping now. Victoria is sleeping now. Who's having breakfast? Who's having breakfast? Sue and Tom are having breakfast. Sue and Tom are having breakfast. Where's Andre working? Where's Andre working? Where? The location. Andre is working in Russia. Andre is working in Russia. Number four. Where's Hiroshi checking his email? Where's Hiroshi checking his email? Where? The location. Hiroshi is checking his email in Japan. Hiroshi is checking his email in Japan. Number five. What's Celia wearing? What's Celia wearing? This question is about the clothes. What's Celia wearing? She's wearing a jacket. She's wearing a jacket. Or you can say that she's wearing a suit because she's wearing a jacket and a skirt. So she's wearing a suit. And also, if you want, you can say that she's wearing glasses. She's wearing a suit and glasses she's wearing a suit and glasses why is Marcus getting up why is Marcus getting up this is Marcus why is Marcus getting up Marcus is getting up because it's 6 o'clock a.m. Marcus is getting up because it's 6 o'clock a.m. and the last one why are Jim and Ann having lunch? Why are Jim and Ann having lunch? They're having lunch because it is noon. They're having lunch because it is noon. Or it is 2 o'clock p.m. It is 2 o'clock p.m. Remember who is used for people, where for the location or the place, 
what for the activity or things, and why for the reason. Thanks for watching. Okay, so there you go. Some important, <clears throat> let's say, WH questions here. Uh, or some examples on WH questions. We have who's sleeping now, who's having breakfast, where is Andre working, etc., etc., etc. Now, the structure, whenever we use WH questions with the present continuous. If you remember WH questions with the simple present, this is pretty much almost the same. All you're going to do, if you remember a simple present WH questions with the verb to be, like what's your name? Let me write this one here. So let's say that we have in the simple present, what's your name? So in the present continuous, it's going to be almost the same. What is she wearing? So what is she wearing? What's the different thing that I'm doing? I'm adding the ing verb. That's it, yep, that's, pretty much what I add, but the structure is going to be the same. First, I need my WH word. That can be who, where, what, why, eh, et cetera, et cetera. And what I'm going to use right next to it or right after it is the verb to be. Like in this case, is, right? What is she wearing? What is she wearing? So there you go. Any questions so far about this? No. The, uh, let's say, the variety of the questions that we have with the present yes. continues. Uh huh. Tell me, tell me. I have a question about yes. um, um, to answer the W question why we uh -huh. need to use the word because. Exactly. Because yes. Always. Always. We, uh -huh. or, or, or uh, we should, right? We should. We should because we are providing a reason, so that's why uh, we must use this word because uh, all the time, right? Why did you go to the supermarket yesterday? Oh, because I didn't have anything to eat, so I, need to, I needed to buy a couple of things. So, because, right? In this case, we keep the same uh, rule, even though it's the person continues, the questions with why, they are always going to be answered with the expression because. So yes, Thank lovely, you. excellent, nice. Okay, any other question before we move on? We cool? Okay, uh, the diversity or the different types of questions that we might find with the present continuous, it might not be like too wide. We're not going to see too many options in terms of asking questions with the present continuous. So I would say that pretty much um, there are going, there's going to be a limited number of questions that we might ask. The ones that you are seeing there, are pretty much the, or some examples of the most common questions we might ask with the present continuous. So there you go. Now, let's see. -da 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 -da. Here we go. If you check, wait, 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 sorry, sorry. Antes de que sigamos acá, 
I'm going to take attendance. So for the second time, antes de que continuemos. So let me see here. Okay, so here we go. Uh, first person, Ana Beatriz Pineda. Ana Beatriz Pineda, Anita, you there? All right, so I continue then with Angel Balmore Aguilar. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Angel. Y next person, Brenda Raquel Reyes. Present teacher. Thanks a lot, Brenda, nice. Next, Glenda Maricela Cuellar. I guess she's not here, so I continue with Iris Beatriz Cornejo. I guess she's not here either, so I continue with Josue Vladimir Alvarenga. I guess he had problems here to keep connected, so I move on to Carla Maria Beatriz Arana. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Carla Maria. Next, Carla Yesenia Lanza. Present. Thank you very much, Carlita. Next, Lucy Natalie Juarez. Here, teacher. Thank you very much, Natalie. Next person, Marilyn Del Carmen Solís. Present, teacher. Thank you very much, Marilyn. Y next, Mauricio Emilio Alvarenga. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Emilio. And next I have Obed Alexander Alas. Here, teacher. Thank you very much, Obed. Next person, Orfa Lisset Barrera. Present teacher. Thanks a lot, Orfa. And next person, Rosa Vilma Landa Verde. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Vilma. Uh, next, Sonia Evelyn Iraeta. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Evelyn. Uh, next, Teresa Guadalupe Bonilla, who is not present. So I continue with Jessica Melissa Oya. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Meli. Uh, next, I have, last but not least, Julissa Raquel Cruz. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Julie. Okay, so there you go. Now let's see. If you check on your books, page, let me see, page 35, page 35. Let me share my screen so that we can all see it. There you go, page 35. So here we have a little conversation. And in this conversation, we have some more examples on a WH questions with the present continuous. So let me see. Let's see if I can just zoom in a little bit. Okay, we much, much. Wait. Ahí está. All right. So here we have this conversation here. This is going to be our model. So I'm going to read it for you. And then some of you are going to try to read it for me. Okay, so here we go. So it says, eh, Luis, good afternoon. This is Rita, the new secretary. Eh, I just want to confirm some information. Hey, Rita, sure, tell me. I want to know who are attending the annual conference this year. And where is it taking place? Well, the IT staff is attending and the conference is taking place in the great room. Rita, by the way, when are the materials arriving? Do you know? Got it, yes. They are arriving on Friday morning. <laughs> Sorry, me quedé hablando solo. Anyway, so, here we go. I'm sorry. I'm going to share my screen again. Ahí está. So there you go. Um, I guess I was able, well, 
Sí, creo que todos escucharon que terminé la lectura. Yes. I guess. No. No, 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 sí, no, sí, no, 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 Hey, Rita, sure, tell me. I want to know who are attending the annual conference this year and where is it taking place? Uh, well, the IT staff is attending and the conference is taking place in the great room. Rita, by the way, when are the materials arriving? Do you know? Got it. Yes, they are arriving on Friday morning. So there you go. So, some examples here of WH teach. questions. Who are attending the annual conference this year? Attending. Attending. Eh, ¿Quiénes asistirán? Por ahí, eh, a quienes se me confunden, attending no es atender, sino es asistir. Assist, sí es ayudar o atender a alguien, pero... Por ahí tenemos al revés las palabras en inglés y en español. So, attending, asistir. Right? There you go. Y we have some other examples there, like it says, when are the materials arriving? When are the materials arriving? Esta pregunta que está acá estará en present continuous. Action at the moment or present continuous for future. For future. For future, there you go, exactly. So in this case, is a present continue for future. Very good. So there you go. Nice. So let me see. Let's see if we can read this together. So Rita, that's going to be Natalie. And Luis is going to be Obed. Hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Where did I make it? Se me I'm fue sorry. la panta. No, a mí creo que se me cayó. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, Jesus Christ. Ya basta con ese internet. Okay, anyway. Okay. So, y Rita, y Natalie, y Luis, Ovid. So, let's see. Action. Okay, Luis, good afternoon. This is Rita, the new secretary. I just want to confirm some information. Hey, Rita, sure, tell me. I want to know who are attending the annual conference this year and where is it taking place? Well, the staff is attending and the conference is talking taking place in the great room, in the great room, Rita. By the way, when, when are the materials arriving? Do you All know? Right. Got it. Yes, they're arriving on Friday morning. There you go. Very good. So here we have this expression, well, IT staff, IT staff, right? Also here we have this expression, by the way, by the way, a propósito, ¿verdad? Eh, como cuando le decimos a alguien, mire, a propósito, ¿cuándo vienen los materiales? O ¿cuándo van a llegar los materiales? Right? By the way, when are the materials arriving? So there you go. Good. Excellent. Eh, thank you, Natalie and Obed. So let's see. 
Rita, let's see. Um, nom, nom, nom. Carla Maria and Luis. Let's see. Evelyn. Okay, teacher. All right, action. I, I am, Rita. Sorry, I, I don't hear. I am Rita or Luis? Rita. Okay, okay, okay. Hello? How are you? Hello? Hello, hello, Carla. Um, How are you? How are you? I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay. Okay. Luis, good afternoon. This is Rita, the new secretary. I just want to confirm some information. Hey, Rita. Sure, tell me. I wanted to know who are attending the annual conference this year. Okay. Where is taking place? Where is it well, taking place? Well, there is a staff is attending and the conference is taking place in the great, in the great room. Rita, by the way, when are the material arrived? Arriving? Do you know? Arriving, do you know? Got it, yes. They are arriving on Friday morning. There you Thank go. Thank you. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. Guys, excellent. You added a little bit more. <laughs> so good. So here we have a, this expression, well, the IT stuff, IT stuff. Uh, IT in a company is like tech support, right? So they help you with whatever thing related to connections, computers. So that's the IT stuff. Uh, what else? Also, uh, arriving, arriving, arriving. And there was another word, e, confirm. The word here, confirm. La R que tenemos ahí, casi que absorbe la vocal e, de la I. So, en vez de confirm, confirm, right? Confirm. So, there you go. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Not again. Did it get stuck again? Can you hear me? Hello, hello. Problem. Wait, no sé si es mi internet, chicos, chicas, o si es Zoom. Y... Es que es viernes, por eso es que no quiere trabajar. <risa> y la computadora no sabe. No sabe, puede ser. It knows. Hoy pues, ha sufrido lo que pasamos nosotros. Se lo juro, se lo juro. Que, que me he sentido frustrado como, como algunos de ustedes en ciertas ocasiones. So, no sé si es la compu o si es Zoom que me estaba pidiendo una actualización hace un ratito y lo actualicé pero no sé, no sé realmente si, y porque no reinicié mi compus, o no sé si eso será, pero bueno, let's see, I'm sorry, las disculpas del caso, ahí, espero que ya no nos falle tanto. Ok, so what are we going to do? This conversation is going to be the, wait, this conversation is going to be the basis for something we're going to do, Uh, but before I send you to do that, here we have some explanations. In the second page, eh, bueno, la página 36, you're going to find some information related to a WH questions with the present continuous. And there you have, well, what we just started in the video, some examples as well, like why is he meeting the new people today? When is, it, uh, when is the new office launching? And when is your boss having the annual meeting? So here we have 
two exercises. The first one says, fill the blanks using the words in parentheses. And then you have some sentences in which you need to uh, just complete the structure for the present continuous. The second exercise that we have there, number five says, think of some future events of your classmates. Write five questions to ask your classmates about those events and take notes of their answers. What are you going to do? Vamos a trabajar en estos dos ejercicios que tenemos acá. Si alguien no tiene libro y, o el archivo del libro está en la, en la, en la página, en, en la plataforma, si no, ya les voy a mandar una foto del ejercicio y, en el chat. So don't worry. So what are you going to do? Y en, la, en, la, en el ejercicio 4 solo van a completar con la estructura del presente continuo para eh, complementar la pregunta. En el ejercicio 5, ustedes van a crear la pregunta. ¿Y qué tipo de pregunta? WH questions in present continuous. Acá les hace la sugerencia de que lo hagan acerca de future events, como los ejemplos que nos dieron anteriormente. Y, por ejemplo, tengo acá when is the new office launching? ¿Cuándo se va a lanzar la nueva oficina? So, futuro, right? Why is he meeting the new people today? Present continues for an action happening in this day or at the moment. And where is your boss having the annual meeting? Future as well, since it's an event that hasn't happened yet. Ustedes van a hacer preguntas parecidas que tengan y relación, pueden ser con cualquier tipo de evento, no solo de trabajo, puede ser eh, alguna otra pregunta, right? Y, pero que sean WH questions. Y ustedes van a dar, o se, al hacérselas a sus compañeros, van a ir dando también las respuestas a las preguntas, ¿no? So there you go. So, I'm going to give you a couple of minutes for you to complete both exercises. So, let me see. I'm going to create breakout rooms so that we can work in groups of two or three people. So, here I go. And nice. So, let's see. Okay. So, I have a... Group number one, Marilyn and Vilma de Romero. So you are group number one. Group number two, Raquel, Emilio, and Natalie. You're working together. Group number three, Josue and Oved. Group number four, um, we wait. Group number four. I have, let me see, we're gonna come over here, Angel. Wait. So I have group number four, Carlita Lanza and Carla Maria. So you're working together. A group number six, Angel and Julie, you're working together. Group number seven, Evelyn and Millie. And that's it, okay? So I'm gonna give you like more or less 10 minutes for you to complete both exercises. Once we come back, we check those questions that you ask and the different, well, the answers that you provide. So, no necesitan hacer cinco y cinco. Pueden, la, eh, la pareja o el trío pueden trabajar in crear cinco preguntas nada más. No es que van a ser cinco y cinco. Okay, so just five questions. Cuando regresemos, cada quien nos va a compartir esas cinco preguntas que crearon con sus respuestas. También vamos a hacer cuatro, si quiero, solo el cinco. Cuatro y cinco. En el cuatro okay. solo okay. completamos con la estructura y el cinco es de hacer nosotros las preguntas. Ya. Yeah. Ok, ya les paso por ahí la foto de los ejercicios para los que no tienen el libro a la mano. I'm opening the breakout rooms right now so that you can start working on them. 
So here we go. Let's see. Oh my gosh, not now. It's gone. Microphone. Mm. No. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yes, I'm sorry. Y no, definitivamente no es el Inter. So, no sé qué será. ¿Me escuchan? Yes. Okay. No, okay. Yes. Oh, okay, sorry. Okay, then. So, creo que alcancé a abrir los grupos, los breakout rooms. So you can start working on it. Y por ahí vi que ya mandaron no. eh, la paginita. No. Bueno, permítame. No, no abrió los grupos. Ahora sí. Sí. Yes. Nice. Okay. So you can start working on this. And if you need some help, just let me know. Si tienen problemas para unirse a los grupos, me avisan. Please. Marilyn en Orfa.
Marilyn, did you finish? Marilyn, Marilyn. No, teacher, es que me dejó de Ah, ya ve, pero está segurando. Pero... <ríe> A ver. ¿Cómo lo supo? <ríe> ¿Cómo lo supo? <ríe> A ver, no, teacher, ver. me desconecté, cerré todas las páginas en el celular y se me... Cada vez que hago eso se me cierra y se me olvida. Ah. Entonces se cierra de Okay. Me salgo de la sesión sin querer. <risa> Pero okay. hoy no me conecté al grupo pequeño porque... Ajá. Este... Ah, chispas. Ajá, sí, no me pude conectar al grupo pequeño. Oh, nice, nice. Ok, Ajá, pero... si gusta, puede trabajar sola, puede tratar de hacer las oraciones sola. Y, perdón, las preguntas sola y, y, y las revisamos igual. Vaya, teacher. Okay, este... Nice. Um, ¿Hasta qué tarea tenemos que tener hechas, teacher? Hasta, quiero ver, el día de hoy creo que tendría que ser la 12, si mal no recuerdo. O 13, ajá, 12 o 13. Seri, puchica, ya voy por la 30. Sigo, no, me <risa> no, va por la 30, anda volando. <risa> 13, eh. Ya, yeah, 13. Ay, no. sí. Ay, esa... Ok. Ok, ok. Nice, ok. Cinco minutos más y te esperamos a los demás y de ahí seguimos. Ok. Ok.
Okay, let's see. Let's wait for the rest. Okay, little by little, you're coming back. So I just hope that you finished. Okay, some more seconds. And here you are, all of you. Okay, there you go. Nice. Okay. Let's see. Yo creo que es sumo el problema. Cuando no estoy compartiendo pantalla, no, no pasa nada. <laughs> no se desconecta. So, I don't know. Let's see. Okay, so let's check those. Well, first let's check the exercise that we have there. So we have number one and it says, well, number one is already done. So we have number two. Uh, who can read number two? Volunteer. Del ejercicio cuatro, number two. How? No volunteers. Let's see then. Um, Angel. No hemos terminado, teacher. Nos faltan sí. dos preguntas. Todavía. Del ejercicio cuatro, le falta todavía. Ah, no, no, no. Del ejercicio cuatro, sí. <laughs> ok, let's see. La número dos del ejercicio cuatro, how? Me ahora apago la cámara, Angel. <ríe> A ver, Julie. Angel. Julie o Angel. Vaya, la dejamos como how ajá. is he ajá. dividing the group. Dividing, ajá, dividing the groups. Nice. How is he dividing the, the, uh -huh. the groups? Very good. Nice. What about number dividing. three? Dividing. Yeah. What about number three? Let's see. Uh, Raquel. 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 Not there. Si no, quiero ver. Natalie. Number three. Yes. When is she handing the checks? When is she handing the checks? Very good. En este caso, tenemos el, un verbo, bueno, que podría malinterpretarse. Hand o handing, ¿verdad? Entregar. No tiene que ver con manos, ¿verdad? No es que cuando está ella manoseando los cheques, no. Cuando está ella entregando los cheques. So, there you go. Nice. Number four. Let's see. Obed. Which factory? One moment. I am lose the page. Okay, don't worry. Is treinta y cinco es la página, ¿verdad, Ticho? Uh, treinta y quiero ver. Es que lo está lo estábamos haciendo en la computadora de, de... oh es treinta y seis, ajá, ejercicio cuatro. Ajá, ajá. Ahí está, which factory. Ajá. Ahí tenía un problema, un, no, bueno, como yo la, 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 más o menos la estructuramos fue, which factory visit your boss this month? Hmm. Which o, factory visit your boss this month? It's present continuous. Ajá. What do you think? Uh, Mm, si no sería which factory are you boss visiting visiting mm. this month? Your boss is he or she, so it's not are. 
What which factory is uh -huh. your, your boss, boss visit this month? Very good. There you go. So which factory is your boss visiting this month? Mm -hmm. Excellent. There you go. Nice. And the last one, let's see. Carlita Lanza. Hello. Hello. Uh, what number? Number five. Why? Why is the new secretary working uh -huh. the next Saturday? Very good. There you go. Why is the new secretary working the next Saturday? Good. And now we have here the questions that you were going to create. So, a ver, nos vamos a ir en orden para que, quiero ver, del último al primero. So, we have, we start with Melly and Evelyn. Can you read the questions you created? Okay. Ajá, let's see. Are you ready, Melly? Yes, I'm ready. Okay. Uh, you are a staff? Okay. Yo hago las preguntas y usted las responde. Ah, ok. <laughs> ok, number one. When are you visiting your grandmother? I'm visiting my grandmother the next Sunday. Good. Next. What? Are you doing for Christmas? I'm meeting with my family to have dinner. Good. Next, when are you going to the beach? I'm going to the beach this Saturday. Oh, nice. Next, <laughs> where are you living right now? I'm living in Ilopango right now. Next, where are you working right now? I'm working in Atahuacla at the moment. All right, Jesus, that was very good. Nice, congratulations. No mistakes in those <laughs> sentences. Great. All right, good job. Okay, let's see then. Next, let's see Angel and Julissa. Hello, Angel. Hello, hello. Angel, you ready? Hello, okay. Julie. Vaya, yo le pregunto y usted me responde. <laughs> sí, así era. <laughs> obediente, <laughs> Angel, obediente. A ver. Where are you living now? I am living in San Salvador. Mm -hmm. Okay, what are you doing now? Uh, usted me pregunta a mí, eh? pregúnteme usted. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What are you doing now? Are you I doing am now? cooking the dinner. Okay. Okay. Okay, ahora, what are you watching on TV? One moment, please. Va a ir a ver qué es lo que están dando en la tele. I watching. <laughs> Tengo alergia. Oh, I'm Tengo sorry. I'm yeah. watching the new. <laughs> yeah. I'm watching the new. Nice, nice. Okay. Y la última, what are you studying? Y 
yo la respondo también. <laughs> I am starting English. Okay. Nice. Good, but nice, nice questions for you guys. So, yes, very good. All righty. So then we continue with Carlita Lanza and Carla Maria. Okay. Hi, Carlita. Hi, Carl. Hi. <laughs> ¿Cuál es la, cuál? No puedo decir. Carla. Carla María y Carlita. Hello. Hi, Carla. Hello. Hello. Um, uh, the first one. Um, when is the school opening next year? It is opening on January 13. Mm, all right, very good. Thank you. Um, where are your family going on holidays? Um, well, we are going up the city. Um, my grandmother's house. When is your Excellent. family? Where, where is your family going? Uh -huh. Where is your family? Where is your family? Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. okay, thank you. Um, who is going to be your boss the next year? I don't know yet. Okay. Um, why are you crying in the morning? Mm. I cry because my husband is sick. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. It's example. Uh, 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 you, you couldn't. You, you couldn't. Un ejemplo. Un ejemplo. Le pusimos mucho sentimiento. Muy No, Oli. Con una lágrima aquí. Muy bien. No. It's only for the No sé por qué no, por qué no sabía cómo se pronunciaba. Ah, ok, ok. Qué mala semana. <laughs> Okay. Um, the last one. When when it arrive? When is it arriving? The material for the construction. Um, the material arriving tomorrow in the morning. Okay. Uh, when when are the materials for the construction arriving? So that's okay. that's that should be the order. Okay. Como se dice? When are the materials for ah, the construction okay. arriving? So that, okay. that will be well, nice. Excellent. Very good. Nice. No, sí, cabal. No me asuste. No me asuste. Nice. Thank you, Carlitas. Okay. Good. good. Let's see. Next one. E Obed en Orfa. Orfa, are you there? Hi, teacher. Hi. Hello, hello. Tuvimos algunos problemas de internet con Orfa. Ok, ok. Don't worry. Lo, lo que tengan, lo, las que alcanzaron a hacer, no importa. Um, la primera, uh -huh. I, what will you be doing, doing on Saturday? What are you doing on Saturday? What are you I doing know. on Saturday? Uh -huh. No sé si él tiene la respuesta, pero la hicimos y es I will be with my family swimming. Ah, entonces diríamos ahí I'm swimming with my family. I'm swimming okay. with my family on Saturday. Okay. Ah, nice. Mm -hmm. Y la, de ahí las otras las tengo yo, pero no la, la respuesta no las tiene. Oh, no, 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 se, no se alcanzaron a, a coordinar. Ok, solo le No, leamos. es que entre, entre los que se nos cortaba el inter y ahí, entonces por eso. Los entiendo, los uh -huh. entiendo. Don't worry. <ríe> a ver, Oben, solo léanos las preguntas, las que tengan, no importa. Ok. Where will the March meeting B. Where is the March 
meeting meeting b being right or taking place where is the mm -hmm. march meeting taking place suena mejor que will es futuro simple pero no es present ah. continuous para futuro ok la respuesta sea in paris ok oh wow <laughs> nice <laughs> Where are you working today? Y Orfa me tendría que decir el nombre de la empresa de ella, va. Mm, where are you working? Pero ese where are you working es como que si temporalmente va a pasar o a trabajar por ahí. Si no, sería where eh, do you work? En el simple present. You work. Ajá. Hola. Sí. Hola. Sí, sí. Hola. Ya, hola, ya. hola. Y ahorita sí le oigo, sí le oigo. Okay, esa creo que debería, ajá, creo que debería de ir en simple present, porque es como where do you work? Y ahí entonces Orfa sí diría el nombre de la empresa. I work at. I work in at. I ajá. work at Quantico. Ajá. There you go. Creo que Ovel, mm. ajá, ahí está, ahí está. When are, when are we going to have lunch? Ajá, ¿qué ver? Y la respuesta es Monday at one o'clock. Ok, very good. And just that. Ok, <laughs> nice, nice, very good, excellent. So thank you very much for that. And last but not least, las últimas, Natalie y Raquel en Emilio. Tal vez solo uno de ustedes nos lee, nos comparte la pregunta. Hola, hola. Hola. Hey there. Yes. Hola. Yes, teacher. Ok. Uh, uh, the question, but I don't hola. know if my classmates have eh, the answer. Eh, hola. Don't work. Hola, es mucho pregunta del más allá. No me escucho bien. bien. Sí, <ríe> ya está más para allá que para acá. So, tal vez solo Natalie nos comparte solo la pregunta y la respuesta. Don't work. Ok, hola, hoy de... sí me escucha. Yes. Yes, Bye. Rachel, don't work. Ok. Do you Yo have the answer? Yo contesto. Okay. Bye. When they are meeting? They are meeting the next weekend. When are they meeting? When are they meeting? When are they meeting uh -huh. the next weekend? Good. What are you doing? What are you doing the homework? When are you doing the homework? When are you doing the homework? Uh -huh. I am doing the homework today. Okay. Tomorrow, era. <laughs> <laughs> when are you visiting your family? I am visiting my family the next Friday. Who's going to the party? I'm going to the party with my brother. What are you wearing in your job? I'm wearing a jacket and jeans. Okay. All right. Thank there you, you go. What are you doing? Maybe what are you doing tomorrow at work? I'm wearing a jacket and jeans, right? Just to give you like the future uh, sense that would be okay. Nice. Okay, then. So, very good. Good job with the questions. I guess that, uh, well, if you remember how to ask questions, WH questions in the simple present, you will have problems asking questions with the present continuous since it's almost the same. Okay, then. Pasamos lista, and then I'll let you go. I'm sorry it took us uh, some more minutes today. So, without any further ado, here we go. Y Ana Beatriz Pineda. 
Anita, not here. So I continue with Angel Balmore Aguilar. I hear you, teacher. Thank you, Angel. And next, Brenda Raquel Reyes. Present. Thank you very much, Rachel. And next, Glenda Maricela Cuella. Present, teacher. Thank you very much, Glenda. Y next, Iris Beatriz Cornejo. Creo que no se pudo conectar el día de hoy. So I continue with Josué Vladimir Alvarenga. Y Josué creo que también tenía problemas ahí de conexión. Seguimos con Carla María Beatriz Arana. Present, teacher. Thank you very much, Carla María. Y next, Carla Yesenia Lanza. Present. Thank you very much. Y Carlita, next, Lucy Natalie Juárez. Here, teacher. Thank you, Natalie. Y next person, Marilyn del Carmen Solís. Present, teacher. Thank you very much, Marilyn. Next, Mauricio Emilio Alvarenga. Eh, present teacher. Thanks, Emilio. Eh, next person, Obed Alexander Alas. Obed, creo que tiene problema. Here, teacher. Ahí. Ahí está. Nice. Thank you very much. Thank you, Here, Obed. Teacher. Nice. Next person, Orfa Lisette Barrera. Here, teacher. Thank you very much, Orfa. Next, Rosa Vilma Landa Verde. Present. Thank you very much, eh, Vilma. Next, Sonia Evelyn Iraeta. Present, teacher. Thanks a lot, Evelyn. Next, Jessica Melissa Oya. Present, teacher. Thank you, Meli. And Julissa Raquel Cruz. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Julie. Okay then, so for the time being, I'll let you go. Thank you very much for being part of today's class. As always, a pleasure for me. Mm -hmm. Have a good night, have a great weekend, and I'll see you guys mm -hmm. on Monday. Bye teacher. Okay, bye-bye. Take care. Bye teacher, bye everybody. Bye, good night. Good night, bye-bye.